find myself out this week. I was on Friday night, I believe. Friday, right? I was in the kitchen in our administrative office, and I was saying, some week, some week, what a week, what a week. And I, I know I'm not the only one in here who's felt this way this week. Yeah. Some of you even saying, what a year, what a year, what a year, what a month, some month, some year this has been God. Some year, and I keep on saying that, some week, some week, what a week, what a week. But just as I said that, something shifted, and, and God says, listen, your seemingly negative situation, your seemingly negative situation that you are calling a crisis has the ability to really become a crisis if you don't watch your mouth. The Bible says that the power of life and death is in the tongue. So as I was saying, some week, some week, some week, what a week, what a week, uh, that thing turned around, but but some God, some God, some God, some God. What a God, what a God, what a God, what a, what a mighty God, what a God, what a God, what a healing God, what a delivering God. What a... And it's shifting. And there's some stuff in your life, man. It's okay to come to the realization that you face pain. That you face confusion. That you face difficulty. You're not denying your faith just because you acknowledge hard times. That you acknowledge a test. Does not mean that you're not a believer. No. You can acknowledge what's going on. See, and I, I have to acknowledge the test. I have to acknowledge the attack. Because I've got to call that thing by name. And if you Stick to the mountain and say, Be thou removed and be cast into a sea. Come on. And that thing has a name, but it's got to bow to the name of Jesus. And I've got to call it out. Just to let it know that I know who you are. And I know attacker, I see you. Attack, I see you. Sickness, I see you. But my God is greater than you. And he will do it.